Hi, and welcome to Quick Code Wednesday. My name is Vic, and today we're gonna see how to draw a unicorn using CSS. First of all, a disclaimer. I took the code from Alexandra Moore and I'm gonna show you how to draw this unicorn step by step. Uh, I've set some defaults here for CSS and the background. We're gonna need wrapper element. We'll call it the unicorn. We're gonna need a face. Let's start with the face. For CSS, uh, the unicorn will only get a position relative. Uh, this is to um, anchor all the elements inside the unicorn. Let's see the face of the unicorn. This will have a width and a height. So I'm using rams here. These are relative units. I'm going to give it the background so we can see the actual face. Uh, this will be a light background because we have a dark border radius makes it round on the edges and we're going to rotate it on the top left corner but we're gonna move it to the center of the screen we're gonna use flex for this this is going to center all the uh, elements in the body both horizontally and vertically so the next elements will be inside the unicorn's face so the cheek will be round uh, to do a circle we're going to use equal width and height I want the unicorn to blush so I'm going to use a gradient I have these colors picked out before so you're going to see the blush here uh, but the cheek is not round so I'm going to use border radius for that using a border radius of 50% will make it round make it a circle um, I'm going to position it make sure it stays on top of the other elements position doesn't work because uh, we don't have position absolute um, we're gonna need it for all the other elements inside the face so I'm just gonna use face star so next we're going to add the snoot and let's add some styling for them 7 by 14 slightly move it to the left now we're adding the nose some border radius the nostril the finishing touch to the nose Next, I'm going to add the eye and the eyelashes. I'm going to use an after element to make it look like a cuter eye. Now the eyelashes. I'm going to use the before and after elements to generate two more eyelashes. Okay, and I'm going to rotate it slightly. For the other eyelash, I'm going to use copy and paste and I'm going to adjust it slightly. Now we have the complete eye. Next up is the ear. I'm going to start with some borders. This is the little ear. Need to rotate it one bit. Five degrees to the left. Okay, so let's add some color to the ear. I'm going to use the after element. Let's use the same technique to draw a triangle you use the left and right borders as transparent and the bottom one needs to have color and a different width next up is the horn 
For the background, I'm going to use a repeating linear gradient. I'm going to tilt it 25 degrees to the left. And I'm going to use different colors. And we're going to use a clip path. Next up, I'm going to add the main. I'm going to use multiple elements for this. I'm going to use a box shadow. Okay, that's cute. Um, I need more of those. Going to use after and slightly adjust the values here. I'm going to need the neck. The neck is outside the face. Will be a rectangle. Using skew and make it look like it comes from underneath the head. Okay, now I'm going to add more of these hairs. Make it look even more fabulous. So remember when I did position absolute for the face, I'm going to add these for the neck as well. Now I'm going to need two more of these. So now you have a complete unicorn head with horn and ear and nose. Hope you enjoyed our video today and uh, See you the next time.